Prime News with me, Karen DeMello. Let's have a look at the headlines first. The much anticipated Goa Assembly elections will be held on 4th February, counting on 11th March. BJP happy with dates, opposition expresses reservations. Naresh Sawal resigns as MLA, will join MGP on 8 January and contest from Bicholi. MGP expected to break alliance with BJP on 5th January. BJP says casinos were continued since government needed money. If needed, casinos will be shut down. Says no action taken on 35,000 crore rupee mining scam since it needs documentary evidence. Now the news in detail. The Election Commission has opened the floodgates for heightened political activity in the state by announcing election dates for five states on Wednesday. The much-anticipated Goa Assembly elections will be held on 4th February. Counting for all five states going to the polls will be held on 11th March. The Punjab elections will be held along with Goa and Uttarakhand elections will be on 15th February, all in a single phase. The Manipur elections will be held in two phases on 4th and 8th March, while Uttar Pradesh will go to the polls in seven phases from 11th February to 8th March as announced by the Election Commission of India. The model code of conduct has come into force immediately on announcement of the elections, Chief Election Commissioner Dr. Naseem Ziadi declared. The crucial make or break elections for Goa are finally here. Careers will be made or ended on the day of judgment 4th February and announcement on March 11th. The term of Goa Assembly expires on 18th March 2017. The poll schedule for Goa is as follows. The date of notification of election will be 11 January. Notifications can be filed from 11 to 18 January, while the date for scrutiny will be 19 January. The last date for withdrawal is 21st January. This leaves hardly 17 days for the candidates to do their campaigns. Traditionally, at least 40 days were given for candidates to meet all voters in their constituency. The BJP, since it is in power at the state and centre, has almost finished its campaign in Goa. Goa may date of notification 11 January, Wednesday. Last date of making nominations in Goa. 18th January 2017, Wednesday. Scrutiny of nominations will be completed by 19th January, Thursday. Withdrawal of candidature by 21st January, Saturday. Goa may chunao ki tithi 4 February 2017, Saturday. And therefore, the after completion of polling in all states, as described uh, before you, the counting will take place on 11th March, Saturday. The most crucial announcement made by the Election Commission as far as Goa is concerned is that only those persons who have not acquired citizenship of foreign country can contest the elections. However, those who have acquired such citizenship or not is yet to be established. The expenditure limit for candidates contesting the election in Goa has been fixed at Rs 20 lakhs. The candidate have to open a separate bank account and all election expenses, donations and gifts, about 20,000 rupees have to be made in cheques or draft. The preliminary expenditure has to be filed within 30 days and the final expenditure within 75 days of declaration of results. This time, the candidates have to file an additional no-demand affidavit saying they have no electricity or water dues and do not owe rent to the government. Where candidates will be required to file a no-demand certificate. And this no-demand certificate will come from agencies such as dealing with electricity, water, telephone and also the rent of the government accommodations. Candidate will also be required to make a declaration that he is a citizen of India and has not acquired foreign citizenship. Now our model code of conduct comes into effect with immediate effect as we are speaking. 
the final electoral roll for Goa will be available on 5th January. There is nearly 100% photo IDs for voters at these elections in all states. A total of 16 crore voters will vote in the five states, according to the EC. The use of plastics for campaign has been banned and noise pollution through loudspeakers has been discouraged. Requests for presentation of budget before the election will be examined by EC. The Election Commission has denied that the delay in finalising date had anything to do with Modi itinerary. The EC is an independent body and conducting of free and fair polls in its priority and election schedule has been decided after all preparations were done, Dr. Nazim Zaidi said. And as per our directions, expenses above rupees 20,000 will be made out of this bank account and will be through check. Similarly, our existing instructions are being reiterated where donations and loans to be received by candidates greater than 20,000 rupees will be by way of check or draft. Bureau report prime. The Election Commission of India has banned the use of any government vehicle for party work by a candidate or official. Any polling officials on duty can use them strictly for polling duty. There will be no election advertisement even on paid sites of government departments such as railways, airports and electricity polls. EC has also banned issuing of ads or any other publicity for partisan purpose in any media regarding achievements of the government so as to benefit the party in power. Chief Electoral Officer Goa Kunal told media on Wednesday. All land-owning departments such as PWD, forest, electricity and local bodies have been instructed by the Election Commission to remove the defacement of property within 24 hours and defacement of public property and misuse of public space within 48 hours and defacement of private property within 72 hours. All photos of political functionaries are to be removed from the government websites. The Chief Electoral Officer's office has to ensure that the development work which has been announced does not start and a list of already commenced work is made, CEO Kunal stated. Political ad, even on the paid site on government lands or government PSUs, like railways, like airport, even like electricity poles which are having the paid sites. But on these places, there will be no any political ad. Second direction of commission is, there shall be total ban on use of official vehicle by any political party, candidate or any other person connected with election, except officials performing any election related official duty. The chief electoral officer will have a flying squad to monitor use of leaker and other illegal activities. Any violation of model code of conduct can be brought before the CEO by contacting them on the CEO's Facebook page, complaint number 1950 and email ceo goa at the rate eci.gov.in will be active to ensure that public complaints are dealt with promptly. The EC also has an app called Samadhan which can be used by public. The Election Commission is also having an extensive voter education programs for largest participation of voters in the elections. We are having our email ID co underscore goa at eci.gov.in which is also in public domain. This can also be used for filing any complaint to us. <coughs> and Election Commission of India has launched an application called Samadhan. It is hosted on our CEO Goa website, cogoa.nic.in. Even we are having lots of channel in which interested person can file any complaint to us. We will ensure immediate compliance on these complaints, immediate action on these complaints. For Prime Video Journalist Sanina Wicker Panjim. Chief Minister Lakshmikan Parsikar on Wednesday welcomed the decision of Election Commission of India for announcing assembly elections on 4th February. Parsikar said that the 29 days prior announcement will save wastage of money and energy. Demonetization of currency has curbed black money and corruption and the currency crunch will affect the political parties that contest on money power, Chief Minister Lakshmikan Parsikar claimed. In the next five years, BJP will contest in all 40 constituencies, Parsikar declared. Election Commission has 
declared elections. I think it is a great, great move on the part of election commission. commission. This will save wastage of money, wastage of energy, unnecessarily spending on, on, on elections. Then uh, it would check uh, distribution of money also. On side of government, it will be economical and so also for political parties, they should, they all should welcome. Uh, I, as a chief minister of the state and as a leader of BJP, I welcome the move, the initiatives taken by the election commission. BJP is fully prepared to face the elections and the party welcomes the decision of election commission to hold the 2017 elections on 4th February. BJP co-convener Media Cell Premanand Mamre said. The Bharatiya Janta Party welcomes the decision of the election commission to hold a uh, poll in Goa on 4th of February 2017. Our party is fully prepared to face the election. We also welcome all the initiatives of the Election Commission, uh, the Model Code of Conduct and all other initiatives which are being, uh, especially the one in which you can confirm your vote through a sleep, which will be first introduced in Goa poll as an as a experimental measure. And uh, we are fully prepared to face the election and come out successfully in it. The code of conduct imposed by the election commission a month before the elections will only benefit the ruling government as all the political parties and individual candidates will get only 17 days of campaigning, Avinash Tavares said while reacting to the decision of the election commission. For Prime Video Journalist Mahesh Vaingankar, Panjim. While welcoming the Goa election dates, Goa Forward has strongly objected to the presentation of the union budget on 1st February, just 72 hours before the Goa elections, which are slated for 4th February. In a letter to the Chief Election Commissioner, Goa Forward President Prabhakar Timley has said the soaps which to be announced in the union budget would be institutional rigging of elections and would influence voters and kill the election code. Goa Forward has asked the Election Commission to take suitable action to ensure that free and fair elections are held. The presentation of the budget would give undue advantage to the ruling party since it gives an opportunity to them to announce populist schemes to woo the electorate. Lots of Goans would be benefited by the income tax rebates and this would influence them in complete violation of the model code of conduct, Prashan Naik, chief spokesman of Goa Forward, told media on Wednesday. <laughs> पोर्टाचा दृष्टीन आसपास शकता, घराचा हाउसिंग, घर बांधनी जैसा ताजी संबंधन आसपास शकता, अन्य महत्वाचे मंडल है या के पे इनकम टैक्स रिलेटेड, जे तुम्ही इनकम टैक्स बढ़ता, ताजा रिलेटेड महत्वाची घोषणा है कि एक इनकम टैक्स है बोलिश कर पाचे, वह इनकम टैक्स आज जो स्लेब आसा चढ़ान सर लोकांक तत्वलयन मध्यम वर्ग जो आसा तंका तत्वलयन भाइयों दो रुपए खतेर ते लिमिट वाड़ो पाचे और सर काय प्रयत्न साथ ने अश्य आम का दिस्ता है अन्य आज विषय आम जब प्रधानमंत्री वो लेंगे साथ की इनकम टैक्स आप अपने एक ऐकादे एक रिबेट स्लैब वो ही रोज़ पाचक तो बन अतः हैंजर � जर तुम्हें जर निवर्णु कितने जर दाय ये दाले टोटली रॉंग जाते हैं जे हम ची निवर्णु का स्थल है मतलब ये तो नहीं तो तुम्हें डायरेक्टली यू आर ल्यूअरिंग द वोटर्स वोटर्स साथ ये कितने तेरी दिवों ने तंचकर जाना मत आगे उपासर क्या स्थल है फॉर प्राइम वीडियो जर्नलिस्ट संतोष कुमार पांजम BJP government is draconian in nature that does not consider the common man while taking decisions. Independent candidate for Dabodi Kenneth Silvera alleged on Wednesday. Drug menace in the state needs to be controlled by the government by creating awareness among the masses about ill effects of drugs, Silvera said. 
He assured the Dabodi residents a garbage-free vicinity and a sustainable all-round development. He also emphasized the need to save the resources for future generations which are being exploited by the present generation. Kenneth Silvera is an entrepreneur dealing in computers, hotels and investment. Silvera ran a computer dealing business which was hampered by the then Chief Minister Manohar Parikkar by distributing free laptops to students under the Cyber Aid scheme. Mopa Airport is the big land scam in Goa by the BJP government and the land owners were not compensated at the exact cost of their land can disclosed. What Parikkar did was he distributed almost free computers to to everyone which destroyed our business okay if at all we are paying taxes to the government it is like the government should have been our partner not it's like feeding a snake <coughs> and the computer supply was given to only say one person who is kit and kin of his own his own relative so not me there are thousands of dealers in computer who were affected People got fed up of Congress government and hence it gave a chance to the BJP government. But the BJP had done development only for the rich people. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer, Kenneth alleged. When asked about casino removal from the state, Kenneth said that people who say that they want to remove casinos are extortionist as they promise one thing before elections and change their stand after winning the elections. All the assurances given in the manifesto will be fulfilled as they are the need of the hour, Kenneth said. Those are middle class, those who are uh, poor, they are becoming more and more poor and the rich are becoming richer and richer. And I feel that this present government he is very draconian in nature, self-centered, selfish, and not uh, not taking people into confidence, and they are uh, behaving like a dictator. For Prime Video Journalist Mahesh Vangankar, Panjim. Independent Bicholi MLA Naresh Sawal resigned from Goa Legislative Assembly on Wednesday by submitting his resignation to the Speaker Anand Shet. Nare Sawal will join Maharashtrawadi Gomantak Party on 8 January and will contest from Bicholi on MGP ticket. MGP is scheduled to withdraw support to the BGP government by 5th January. MGP has a tacit understanding with Goa Suraksha Manch on alliance which will be formalized. Thus far MGP has finalized 19 candidates. As an independent candidate, I worked hard for welfare of the people in Bicholi. For every child, women and senior citizen in the constituency have shown their love and support towards me, ex Emily Nare Saval said. When asked about the decision of election commission giving only 17 days of for campaigning, Saval said from past five years he was working closely with his constituency people and needs no much campaigning. दिवचल मतदार संघातले तमाम मतदार बहुसंख्येन मतदार मोठ्या उमेदीन मोठ्या आनंदान परत एकदा मगो पक्ष दिवचलेन हाडपाक आणि सिंह ही निशाणी घेऊन फुडे बसपाक तयार झाले असा त्यांना यता ते आयतरा 8 तारखेक आम्ही मगो पक्षान सगळ्या कार्यकर्त्या बरोबर the Hitajintaka Boroba, how Mogo Poksha Pravish Kotlo, Anitanantar Mogo Poksha Chat, the Kitacher, Newer Nogladitlo. I am at Puilit Sanglasaki, Motadara Boroba the Stami, Ami Loka Modidasa, how how Geli Path Versa Motadara Tla put Pratik, Kana Copran, Ignala Dusrezisan Asats, Astalot, Mononitle Prims Alla Lokan Chamcher. किरे आणि लोक सज्ज रावल्यात की आता मगो पक्षाक मगो पक्षाचे स्वागत करपाक फॉर प्राइम व्हिडिओ जर्नलिस्ट सनी नारवेकर पांजेम नाउ लेट्स टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक वी विल बी बॅक सून स्टे ट्यून्ड दिस इज इन्फो मीडिया प्राइम स्लॉट नेटवर्क एंड यू आर वाचिंग प्राइम योर वॉइस योर चॅनल Welcome back. 
BJP on Wednesday stated that their solution to the medium of instruction issue has been accepted by majority of the people in the state. BJP said that they continued with casinos in the state since the government needed money. However, the process of relocation is on and if needed, casinos will be shut down, Deputy Chief Minister Francis D'Souza said. Speaking on the alleged 35,000 crore rupees mining scam, D'Souza stated that action can be taken only when documentary evidence is available. D'Souza welcomed the announcement of election dates by the Election Commission and said that their party is ready to fight and win the 2017 elections with absolute majority. Speaking on the regional plan, Deputy Chief Minister Francis D'Souza said that Satari, Kankona and Perne Taluka are approved by the board. When questioned on his statement that the next CM will be a Christian candidate, D'Souza said that he had stated that a Christian candidate can be a CM, replying to a question. D'Souza also stated that all issues faced by Ayush Minister Shripad Naik were resolved. BJP invites suggestions from stakeholders through social media and emails by 10th January to prepare their manifesto with clean and green Goa concept. Casino, I am a difficulty. I am a relocate. But I'm come for Sanji Garazaman Sanglamka, the Kalamit Abutamite, Zatabe Bashanami, continue Kala, and the Sekatan Namite, Boni Gartale. I push out at Namka, Banakala Pile, Munkazinami Surukuru Nadle. I scored Bankaria Mantapa the Jenny Surukale. To recover money, first you have to see who has to give it to us, no? Theoretically, it is 35,000 crores, what we have said earlier. But when it comes to specifics, it has to be so and so has to pay this much. Once you come to that, only recovery will happen. So that is why the people elected you to power. You said there was a scam, you said you will recover, you said we will put people responsible for the scam there and bars. None of that has happened in five years. Ami, media cha manfat, samistha, mankaragrem, ek vinanti karta. Itani, Tanchi, Moladik suggestions, opinions, and going Kashans check. Hajir Amka, Ye Mademantlan, Google Forms as soon, email ideas, Facebook page as soon. You have any Mademantlan Amka suggestions, Harchi, Yakalagunamso, Jaina Mokatana, Mother Tatli. For Prime Video Journalist, Mahesh Wangankar Panjim. BJP government has failed to provide cadre and leaders to the state. Similarly, Congress has no MLAs left to contest the upcoming elections, Aam Admi Party claimed on Wednesday. AAP also said that the upcoming 2017 election will be money and muscle power versus people's power and corrupt versus the honest. AAP welcomed the decision of Election Commission for holding the election next month on 4th February. AAP is the only party ready for the 2017 elections. AAP has declared 36 candidates out of 4 till date and the party has also declared its CM candidate. BJP has still not declared its CM candidate nor is the party ready with its manifesto. Congress has completely lost the trust of Goans while Miki Naik, AAP candidate of Panjim said. As going to Loka Somer, Yachitra Distaki, BJP in Ani Congress in Kites of Rugnakida, Sagarets, एका पार्टीन बचिल्ले आसा आणि त्यांचा सीएमच म्हणता की आमच्याकडे आणि काहीच पर्याय नाही तर भारतीय जनता पार्टी आज अशी पार्टी उरल्या ज्यांच्याकडे केडर होई ना आणि लीडर होई ना की त्यांनी आमचं आपलं सीएम फेस होई पार्टी काढिल्लो आसा 4 फेब्रुवारी जी इलेक्शन जातले ते साधे इलेक्शन असते ना हे गोयचे एक ऐतिहासिक इलेक्शन असतले हे इलेक्शन असतले मनी अँड मसल पावर versus people power yeah election astale dirty politics versus honest politics and yeah elections karamana astale corrupt politicians versus honest amadmi for prime video journalist mahesh wangankar panjim 
Tell us how you like this newscast. WhatsApp is on 9637969244 or email us on newsprimegoa at gmail.com. Well, that's all for the news now. Stay tuned for more news and updates. Till then, keep watching Prime.